If you're new to Schoology, this course is intended to give you a crash course to get you started. So you will access Schoology through our unique URL, and the best way to get there is through the Rapid Identity My ISD 728 portal. So choose that, should be on your bookmarks bar, and then you will log in. And then once you're logged in, you should have a link to Schoology. You may see more than this, but click on the Schoology logo and that will take you in. You'll notice that the address is isd728.schoology.com. Here, you will likely see your recent activity, and this is a summary of all the posts and updates and uh, dates from all of your courses combined. There is a course dashboard which lets you see all of your courses and the nice thing about this view is it lets you drag and rearrange them. So when you click on courses at the top this shows you your first 12 courses. That's why you may want to rearrange them earlier on. Click into your courses and these should be automatically loaded from our campus student information system. If they're not there, be sure to speak to your digital learning specialist or someone in the office. Once inside, you will see a blank course. The first thing I'd recommend doing is replacing the generic icon at the top with your own picture. So click on Edit Picture, and you can choose one of the presets, but I'd recommend attaching one of your choice. So here I've downloaded one to my desktop. I'll click Open. There's the thumbnail and now I have a unique picture and that's important because when students go to courses they will see that it's much easier for them to navigate to your course. The next thing to think about is navigation within the course. Now you have a few menu items on the side. Students do not have all these. There's end at mastery and they do not have gradebook setup. But materials is your main area. This is where you will post all of your class materials. You have a calendar and upcoming events area to the right and then on the left you have a few menu items. The updates one is the second option. This is where you will post class announcements. It's kind of like a Facebook feed. Here I would recommend putting a welcome message to your class. You can attach certain things at the bottom but when you post this will then go to your students and parents. If you don't want the parent to get it simply uncheck the parent icon. The gradebook and mastery setup can be learned later but just be aware that they're there, as can badges and attendance. Members lets you see which students are in your class. You can actually organize them into subgroups over here, which you can learn about later. Materials, again, takes you back to your main page. All the things you can add to your Schoology page are under Add Materials. I'd suggest by starting with some folders, and um, you can decide how you want to organize your course, but simply put in the title, and create it and now you have a folder. You can create as many folders as you want. If you want to put content inside of a folder, click into it. Then add materials is still there. These are the items you can add. Assignments, this lets you distribute and collect assignments digitally. Test quiz is just what it sounds like. Add assessment is the new version of test quiz which has some enhanced question types um, and that will become the default eventually. Files and links, if you click that, that's where you can upload like a PDF or a Word document for students to view or a link to a website or a Google Doc. You also can add discussions, which are interactive and students can post and have an online discussion. Pages lets you create basically a web page within Schoology. Um, the key here is on the insert content, you can add images, you can insert YouTube videos, you can insert documents from your Google Drive, even Khan Academy videos. And then you have your basic editing as well. If you click this dis display on a new page so it says display inline, then that page will show up right away when students enter your course. Sometimes teachers will make a welcome page and then they'll put their course information on there as well as maybe an embedded Google slideshow, which if you have one, it's a really nice way for students to see what's happening in the class. You would simply click the insert item, you go to your drive, you can search for it up here. So I'll just type in math, because I know I have a math one. Here I find my math calendar, click on the gear icon, import it as an embedded item. 
I can't see it here, but it will show up when I save. Notice I have it as display inline when I create. Now this is a page that a student would see immediately as they come into my course. They don't have to click into the link to see it. Other materials that you can add, uh, media album where students can upload images, audio, or video. And import from resources lets you bring things in straight from your Google Drive or from things that you've saved in Schoology, which is the resources up here. It's kind of like your file cabinet for Schoology. Now when navigating within Schoology, it's good to use the breadcrumb trail. Right up here, I can go back to my original course rather than using the back button. If I click the little preview, I can see there's my welcome page. If I decide I don't want it in there, I can click and drag that out. So now that will be on my main page. And if I want to change anything, I click the gear and edit. Now I'm right back in there again. I can see that it's there. I can make changes. And then that's what students would see when they come in. Notice they don't have to click in, but they can see then what's happening each day in class. I would recommend organizing, posting your activities, and then doing as much digital um, distribution and collection as you can. If you create something in a folder, like an assignment, and attach a date to it, you will see that it appears on your upcoming events list. So here's my assignment. I would put my directions in here. If I want to attach a template for students to fill out, I would simply click on my Google Drive. I can find my activity in here, whatever that may be. It could be a presentation. It could be a blank Google Doc. I simply attach it. Then notice it will create a copy for each of my students. I can add a due date if I would like, as well as a time. I do have to put it in a grading category, and if I don't have one, I simply create a new one. That will allow it to show up in the gradebook. And then notice this means it's published for my students. I can unpublish it, so it's waiting for them. They won't see it until I publish it. But when I create, that assignment then gets created inside my folder. And if I go back to my main course by clicking on the breadcrumb trail, I will see that the assignment has also appeared on upcoming events. So this is a nice way for kids to know what's due. We're encouraging teachers to always put your homework assignments over here, anything that's due. If it's something that's not digital that you can put a date on, you can manually add the event over here. So you could put uh, test Friday, put in the date, save your changes, and then that will appear on there as well. So the red ones are your manually made ones. These other ones with the icons are the ones that are attached with due dates from Schoology. If you want to see the entire calendar, just simply click the red one and you can see them here. Students have their own calendar at the top where they can actually go and see all of their courses in one spot and then they can click and add their own events if they want to. So that's a really nice digital calendar for students. Again, I can go back to courses, go right back into my class, and I can see the work I've been creating. We really recommend you make as much use of Schoology as you can. It's a great way to have everything accessible to students 24-7. It's a great way to organize your course content, and it really facilitates a digital workflow and distribution and collection of materials and interaction with other students. If you have questions, talk to your digital learning specialist, but hopefully this little uh, intro will help you get set up and get started with Schoology. If you want to learn more, we have some tutorials available for you. Simply go to this short URL here and you will find lots of different tutorials. You can also check out the on-demand courses that we have available for teachers in the ISD 728 district. You can find those under your courses and they look like this. There should be courses within there if you don't have access. Again, talk to your digital learning specialist. Welcome to ISD 728 and have a great time integrating Schoology into your class. It's a powerful tool.